Hi everyone, it's Lisa Brown with InkandInspirations.com. I'm an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! And in this video, we're going to make this pretty card with the Forever Fern bundle and some coordinating um, embellishments and some paper from another suite, the In Good Taste suite. So let me show you what we're going to use for this card. I have a Blushing Bride card base cut it four and a quarter by 11. I've had a feeling that this would look good behind this uh, piece of designer paper, so I decided to go with the Blushing Bride. And then I have a piece of the In Good Taste designer series paper, and this is cut at four by five and a quarter. I have a piece of shimmery white cardstock, and this is cut at two and three quarters by three and a half. And I've already embossed it with this embossing folder that's also in the Forever Fern Suite. And it is just a beautiful leafy pattern and the shimmery cardstock makes it so pretty. So you get two of these mini folders when you purchase this, for, this greenery embossing folder set. I have a scrap piece of Whisper White cardstock and that's to stamp our sentiment, and we'll be using Rococo Rose ink. And then I used a piece of Petal Pink and Rococo Rose to cut these two dies from this bundle, okay? And then I'm also going to use two pieces of the ribbon and twine combo, okay, from the Forever, uh, I believe it's the Forever Greenery, uh, ribbon and, and twine combo pack. And for the inside of the card, I have a piece of Whisper White cut four by five and a quarter, and then an accent strip of designer paper, one inch by four. And then we're going to use these be this beautiful gold ring, okay? All right, let's get started. Move all this out of the way. So first of all, we're going to work with this base. And I have this piece of ribbon going behind uh, that designer paper. And so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take it, and it's about six to seven inches long. And I'm gonna do this and center it. And then I'm going to take a little bit of our Stampin' Seal Plus and apply that behind there to hold that ribbon down, okay? So now this is gonna come down here, and then as we build our layers up, that will hold that ribbon down, and we'll work with that in just a bit. So let's go ahead and work with our ring, and then we'll do some more assembling. So, oh, I forgot one important piece, and that's this Forever Gold. Oh my goodness, this specialty designer paper is beautiful. They're all die cut and easy to remove and just a beautiful wow factor for your cards. So I've used this branch, okay, and I'm gonna build up on the rings like this. And then I have the petal pink little curved branch that's gonna go over top. And then this little, these little ovals that are gonna build up just like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those on, and I used glue dots for this. So let me go ahead and get one behind here. And then I'll put it and attach it to the bottom. And these glue dots are not going to show once we get all of these embellishments put on. So there's that, and let's just go ahead and build up with the next the petal pink branch. Like that, okay. And then I have the little ovals that I'll use. And you could use more than one glue dot. I'm thinking that this is gonna hold okay. So I'm trying to put it in the middle and just attach it just like that. All right, so now the next layer up was this beautiful gold a thread. Oh, I love it. Look at it, it just, you can unwind it and 
fray those ends and it just makes a beautiful accent. So I'm just gonna fold that in half and get a glue dot to hold it together. Oops. Okay. Pick that up and that kind of bunches it together there. And then I'm gonna lay that right there in the center over top. And you can see how pretty that is, okay? All right, so now I'm gonna set that aside and we're going to do our stamping. And so I have this, just a scrap piece and then this to a friend that makes me smile. And I just want to use part of the sentiment. So I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. Let's just take this and ink it up in Rococo Rose. Stamp. All right, let's close this. Get that out of the way. And then I'm going to take my paper snips and I'm going to fussy cut around the words to a friend. And I'm just doing curvy cuts and staying, leaving a little border away from the word friend. And it's a close cut there between the other one, but it works. So let's go ahead and come on up and cut this out. I don't want any sharp edges, so I'm gonna round that off there. And again, let's take a glue dot and put it behind there. And then we're going to attach it on top of this wreath. And I'm gonna put it a little over to the right. I don't wanna cover up those that pretty gold thread there. Okay, so let's start building our card. All right, so we have this ready to go. And I'm gonna go ahead and build up on this designer paper. This paper is beautiful. It is neutral with some pops of color that it's stunning and I love it. And I thought it would be a good match for this Forever Fern for this particular card to change the look of the greenery of the fern set. Those colors are beautiful, but I thought, oh my goodness, let me try it in pink, in the pinks, and I love it. I absolutely love it. And I hope you do too, and give it a try. Okay, so I'm gonna center this. I use some liquid glue, and I'm gonna center it side to side, and pretty much top to bottom. You can see I'm just eyeballing it there. Okay, and then I'm going to take my take your pick tool and kind of pull a few of these threads down here to give it a little uh, fringed edge, okay? So you just have to pull a little bit and snip and you can pull it up as far as you want to up to that, that card stock, okay? Once you get it going, it's pretty easy to pull. Okay, I'm gonna do that. I don't want it tightened. And then I'm just gonna spread it out. Okay, there we go. Just a little fun piece of texture there. So now we're going to take our wreath and look how pretty that is. I just love it. I um those these rings were on back order for a while and so I waited to show these and hopefully by the time you see this they're still available but go ahead and order them they'll ship them to you when they have them in stock if they're out okay I'm using glue dots on the ring but yet behind those little embellishments there and the die cuts so I've got three and I'm just going to place that in the center there and just give it a good press down. Look at that. I just love it. I love the colors. I love the, the die cuts. 
and the gold just makes it amazing. Okay, so let's put some glue so we can write our message on this Whisper White, four by five and a quarter. And then this, just a little strip I had left over, cut it one by four to decorate the inside just a bit. Okay. All right, and now we can put this over top. And those glue dots, using those glue dots, it's, it's good and stuck there, okay? So I don't think you have to worry about that. At first, when I saw the ring, I thought, am I going to have to use hot glue on this particular card? And no, the glue dots are great. Okay, there is our card with Forever Friends mixed with a bit of the taste of goodness. And then I went ahead and decorated the back flap of the envelope to go with the card. Okay, give it a try. If you need the products to make this card and you want to do that, just contact me or visit my website at inkandinspirations.com and click on the links to shop. Thank you so much. I appreciate you and I'll talk to you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.